Oh, hey y'all, I forgot I hit record already. My bad. I had to pause the TV so you guys didn't have to hear it. Anyhow, welcome. It's Crystal from Beautifully Broken Crafts Halls and More. I'll do my intro real quick. So, um, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you choose to stick around, hit that red subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And drop a comment below at the end of this video with whatever I found is your favorite find. Um, we focus a lot on shopping hauls here, some crafts, DIYs, recipes, and whatever else I can think of. I still have on the same jewelry and clothes as I had on for Thursday's post um, with my collective haul. But then I started getting chilly, so I just threw this hoodie on. Um, and if I get warm in the process, it'll come off. Anyhow, not that you guys care. As I said in my last video, my collective poll, if you missed it, uh, this is a positive zone. So if you have anything negative to say, please, as we've learned when we were children from whomever, um, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all and keep it moving. You don't like my content. I understand. And that's totally fine. You can just exit out of this video and go to your next one to watch. Um, Life's too short for all that negative negativity, though. We try to keep it positive and kind here. And yes, I share personal stuff about myself here and there throughout the halls. It is what it is. No big deal. Fast forward through it. Whatever, whatever. I do have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. Um, if you didn't watch my collective haul, we'll address the elephant in the room right now. Yes, I did cut all my hair off. It's in an inverted bob, so it's shorter in the back and longer in the front. I have a tendency to do this with my hair. Every year or two, I'll let it grow real long, and then I chop it all off again because I'm tired of it. I like it short. I actually think it suits my face better. Um, and my hair feels so healthy and soft right now. Like, I have no product in it whatsoever. I just showered and blew it out and then ran the hair. My hair. And the straightener through it. The flat iron. Okay. Let's get into this. I will start with two big bags. Two big reusable bags. I'll start with like the boring stuff like household stuff and gro groceries or food. Um, they did have the durable parchment paper pop-up sheets. Again, you get 25 sheets that are 15 inches by 10.75 inches. I ran out of these. And the last time I had to buy the roll of it because they didn't have these. Um, but I like using these when we bake. Even if I do like baked chicken, I like putting this on the cookie sheets first. That way it's not such a such a mess to clean up. So I picked up just one box of those. Um, and then I picked up by Scrub but Buddies the two-in-one quick eraser. So you get sponge on one side for quick eraser. Sponge on one side. Quick eraser on the other. Great for everyday cleanup. I like using these to clean up especially like this side the blue side is the scrubber and the white side is the eraser like a, a mr clean magic eraser um so i just picked up two boxes of those because i like having these on hand to either scrub the sink with or sometimes the stove if we've cooked something like super greasy it gets the stuff off quicker i'll even wipe down walls with these sponges and it's it helps get like mark, dirty marks off easier what else we got in here Okay, we're, that's it for like household stuff, like cleaning supplies or cooking supplies. But I did pick up a few grocery items. Um, Peyton said we needed juice, and she really likes the mm, Old Orchard Healthy Balance juice that they carry at Dollar Tree. Um, so I picked her up the apple cranberry, and you get 64 fluid ounces or half a gallon in this. And for $1.25, that's not bad for juice because juice is not always that cheap. And then I picked her up the mango tangerine. I don't know if she's ever tried this one or not. Flavored reduced sugar juice cocktail blend from Concentrate. And this is also 64 fluid ounces or half a gallon. Okay. And then my dollar, like I watch other Dollar Tree haulers like Frugal J, Mari, from everything Mari, Amber's to-do list, Childlike Faith with Kelsey, and so many others I can't even name. Um, oh, Michelle Bright, that's my girl too, from Michelle Bright. Um, but they always haul these cookies, and it's by the Cookie Collection, delicious, I got both types that they had. It's the delicious chocolate cookies with rich cocoa cream filling. This one is the 6.1 
6.17 ounces. They said these are really good, so I picked these up because my Dollar Tree has never had them before until now. So I figured Peyton and I could give these a try. And then they also had the same brand, salted caramel and chocolate cookies with rich salt, salted caramel filling, and you get 5.29 ounces in these. So I thought those weren't bad for $1.25 to pick up. I also just picked up another four pack of the Slim Mini Slim Jims to keep in my purse or in my car or whatever if I get hungry while I'm out. And that is it for groceries. And I lied about kitchen, kitchen stuff, kitchen, whatever. Um, I forgot I grabbed these until I just seen them in the bag. It's the power clips. They're magnetic. So it's like a chip bag. Food storage. You can use this for food storage, small toys, craft supplies, paper files, yada, yada. Um, you get six of them. So one says blame the sugar. One says eat, sleep, repeat. And the blue one says binge worthy. And you get two of each. So we always need some type of chip clips around here for chips or bags of crackers or cereal or whatnot. A few things from... Sorry for like leaning over you guys. Um, from the toy toy section, I don't know why I grabbed this. I just, we just like having things around the house to fidget with because we all have some form of anxiety in this family or something. So sometimes when we're obsessing about things, we have no business obsessing about because most things are out of our control. Um, it's the pin art sculpture. It's one of those like sorry for the glare. You know, you put your hand in it or whatever so you see I just picked one of these up I always liked these things when I was a kid but my parents would never buy me one so I bought myself one for $1.25 I mean it's a smaller version but that's not a big deal so just brought that to have around the house um and then I thought this was a good deal it's called kitty dough I don't know if it's a green briar brand or not it's not so I'll, I'll try to look this up and post something in the picture and picture for you guys. Um, it says kitty dough. You get mini. It's a mini dough factory. Clean. I have a piece of hair. Sorry, you guys. Clean, non-toxic molding compound. Two dough. You get two jars of dough, and they each are four out. No. Two ounces each. So then it says includes. And it includes, okay, let me just read this over. Two tubs included, includes one dough machine, two tubs of dough, and three slide shapes. Slide shapes. Okay. So this one has purple and orange Play-Doh in it. And for $1.25, I didn't think this was a bad deal. It's just like creative kids. And then the other one I picked up, it's the same stuff inside, like the dough machine, three slide shapes, and then two tubs of dough. And this one has red and blue dough in it. So, I didn't think that was a bad deal. And then some games, I did pick up the deal or no deal card games. These boxes are janky, but that's fine. Um... For us to play, we're big on playing games in this house. If you guys are not new to my channel, you guys know that we play a lot of games. So it just says here, content, you get 26 brief case cards, one bank offer card, and 26 cash cards, and one instruction card. So there's that. And then we also picked up the Family Feud Survey Showdown card game. And it doesn't really, well, this is what the front of it looks like with Mr. Steve Harvey. He's hilarious. I think he's hysterical. And then it just shows you examples of the cards on the back. So we will give these games a whirl. Next family game night. That is it for toys. Um, and then I have a few Easter things in here. Not much. And then we'll move on. I did find this um, faux shiplap Easter sign. It says hippity hop. And it has the bunnies, bunny cutouts strung across here with twine. I think I'll leave this as is, probably. But I just thought it was really cute and I like this detail. And I feel like if you saw something like this, even at Walmart or Hobby Lobby, it's going to be way more than $1.25. 
So I think Dollar Tree did a good job on this. Super cute. And I know there's been a, there's other versions, but this was just the one that I liked. I couldn't remember if I had it, so I picked up just a, a wooden carrot cutout for DIYs if I get to it. Because um, if I as I have explained in other videos, if you have watched. My life has been super chaotic. I switched careers, still within the same company, but it's I've been more busy, which is a good thing, um, with work. And then I run the household myself and drive my daughter back and forth here and there to work and whatever else she needs to have taken care of. She's still in high school, but she does virtual. Um, since Corona, she just decided to stay virtual instead of going back into the building. So I am delayed in crafting with the job change, the career change, and dealing with everything else. And, oh, I do want to say, I meant to say this in the beginning. If I'm behind on responding to your comments, please don't think I'm ignoring you guys. I'm so not. I read all of them, and I reply to all of you guys as soon as I can. It's just, like I said, super hectic around here. So, I'm doing the best I can. Still a work in progress, you know, like the rest of the world. Anyhow, let's finish this Easter stuff. I did finally find the bottle brush carrots at Dollar Tree. So I picked up three packs of them. And you get two in each pack. So they're orange. And then the tops of them have the green with the raffia bow. I don't know what I'm doing with any of this yet. So when I come up with it, I'll let you guys know. And then I did find the buffalo check garland. Uh, I found three different versions of it, so I did pick up all three. So this one is just the Easter eggs in the buffalo check. I'll open it. Why not? So you get blue, orange, pink, green, purple, and the traditional black buffalo check. And it's just, you know good for DIYs I can tell you that for sure and then I'm not going to open these next two um I did find the same thing but in the bunny shapes and they're all the same colors pretty much and the bunnies are facing to the side and then I found the one that has carrots and bunnies on it all the same colors but you get a carrot then a bunny a carrot then a bunny you know what I mean so I thought those were cute as well okay that is it for Easter supplies and then I have a bag right in front of me so we're just going to go into this gardening stuff. Gardening stuff. Um, I picked up this four pack of flower pots. They're plastic, but I just thought it was a good deal for $1.25. You get four of them, and I can change the look of these with just some paint. There is something, I don't know. You guys, can you see that detail on there? It's like different leaves and like grape shapes or whatever that come out. And then they had this three pack of pots these are plastic as well and then it has this little trim on here and then they even have these you put them in the bottom i guess for drainage but three for a dollar 25 and four for a dollar 25 i didn't think it was bad and then i was super excited to find these they're bell cloches for the garden they're plastic like plastic um what you see here but I plan on using at least one of these for sure for DIYs and it does have this top part here where you spin it and you can close those holes up or you can spin it like that and they're open I thought that was pretty neat kind of looks like a weed they have in there though you guys see that what else um, and then I did find this cute gnome garden steak it's like patriotic but I had to grab it because you guys know how it goes at Dollar Tree. If you don't grab it when you see it, there's a strong possibility you're not going to find it again. So he just holds a little banner that says America. I thought he was cute. Just put him back in the bag. Put him back in the bag, girl. Uh, I did pick up. Sorry for the bending, you guys. Well, at least my hair's dyed, so you haven't seen any of my grays this time, right? Um, some of these little planters. So, yeah, animal planters. 
every time they come out with the like a new collection of these, I'm always a sucker for them. I picked up three of the four up. They had the four of them, but I just didn't care for it. So I got the cat, and her name is Kara. Isn't she pretty? And then it shows you on the side all the different ones. I didn't get the dog. His name is Duncan. Um, I picked up the zebra. Her name is Zena. Thought that was super pretty. And then for Peyton, so I, I have a, a bin in here that I'm going to be using for her Easter basket. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to fill it with from Dollar Tree. And then uh, some of the stuff I had in a collectible. The only thing I need to pick up for her now is like candy. Like she is obsessed with chocolate. So chocolates. Why is it so red right there? Oh, whatever. Um, but I got her the flamingo. And his it's a guy, surprisingly. And his name is Frasier. Isn't that cute? So she'll like that. She loves flamingos and pineapples and all that goofy stuff. So, um, what else do we want to go to next? Just a few pet supplies. I'm trying to be quick about this, you guys. Okay. Um, for the cat, aka Loki, aka Munch, we just got him a cat teaser wand. I call these fishing lines all the time, but it's just pink and it's got this little cute leopard print heart on it with some ribbon. He's sleeping over on the couch right now, but when he feels like being frisky, we'll play. And it was funny to me because the dog, she likes hooch. Um, sorry, guys. Ooh, squeaky toys. But they haven't had any lately. So then they finally had a few for her because she destroys them. She likes to dig the squeakers out and then she's done with them. Christmas. And they charge me full price for this, which I thought they all should have been 50% off or 50 cents. But whatever. It's just a stuffed bone and it says naughty because she's naughty sometimes. And it has a squeaker in here somewhere. There it is. So once she finds that, she's just going to destroy that. And then I found her this dog toy. And this is just a big squeaker and wrapped in fabric. There's no stuffing in it. So Peyton will enjoy that because she hates cleaning up the stuffing. And I picked up two collars for her because I wasn't sure. Pooch is shaped kind of weird. Like her head looks too small for her body sometimes. And plus these might run smaller than your average one. So I just picked her up two different sizes. This is a blue and green collar in a medium. And Hooch is all white, so she matches everything. And then I picked up a large size just to be on the safe side, and they had red and pink, so I grabbed the red and pink. Okay, that's it for animal supplies, y'all. Oh, no, it's not. One more thing. They had this shampoo, and it's not a Greenbrier brand. It's by Nature's Best. Naturally gentle and safe flea and tick shampoo cleans and conditions. So, I grabbed this because during the summertime, we have a lot of property. We don't want her to get ticks or anything, so we try to wash her with this, like, once or twice, once a week or so, to make, you know, just to be preventative. I hate, let me move this back so I don't have to keep bending and you guys don't have to keep looking at the top of my head. My big marshal bag, Okay. You guys already saw Mr. Naomi. I'll just grab this pile next. Um, Rob on transfers from Crafters Square. They had some new ones out, and I was excited to see them. Um, I did grab just uh, this one is just all black and white, and it's like farmhouse style. I'm not big into farmhouse anymore, like I used to be, but some of these I can use. And I thought they were just cute. So you see, you get like a mason jar, a bowl, apron, the rolling pin, a cutting board, florals and axes from like, hmm. I just thought that was cute. And then this one I picked up, it's a gold foil robot transfer, mostly for me. I don't know if she's awake right now or not. Um, She's awake. I picked it up because it has the pineapples and flamingos on it, and she loves those things. So I just thought that was super cute, and she'll like this. So there's that one. 
And then they had these two really pretty ones that I, this was like my vibe totally. This one is just florals in different shades of navy blue, baby blue, olive green, blush pink. I thought that was super pretty. And then this one, and it literally says boho on it, but it is really boho. It's got feathers and boho print and teepees and arrows and this skull bowl, bowl head, I believe. So I thought that was really pretty as well. Okay, don't be wise. Some bins I picked up. I just picked up this wire mesh basket to do DIYs with in black. No big deal. They have these all the time. And then I picked up this little container that has it's like a tote, a mini tote, a tote lid right like that. Um, for some index cards I need to leave in here. <sighs> no big deal. And then this is the bucket I was talking about using for Peyton's Easter stuff. So I know this brand you can buy at Dollar General and it's more than a dollar or even a dollar twenty-five. So I thought that was pretty and she can use it for anything once she takes the stuff out of it. Okay. Um oh this is also from the kids section, but I got it for Peyton. So I don't if you guys watched my St. Patty's Day craft video, I had pointed her out in the one video that she was crafting also, and she was crafting a gnome sun catcher for me that's for Easter and she had fun doing it so I just picked her up these I don't know if she's gonna like it or not it's just something for her to do it's the yellow L brand and it comes with the sun catcher paint and a brush and the string and all that so I'm gonna put that in her bin other stuff I'm putting in Peyton's bin are these candles so Peyton loves avocado and they have these candles out again and I just thought this was super cute it says avocado and it has an avocado smiling inside made out of wax I hope she doesn't burn these but if she does she does and then she's obsessed with tacos as well so this one has a taco on the inside and it says let's taco about it isn't that cute she'll get a kick out of those I'm pretty sure Those will go in her bin as well. And then I found, I was kind of surprised to find these in the electronics department, and they are by Greenbrier. This one is a smartphone selfie light. Now, Peyton already has one that I had gotten her a while ago from Five Below, but then I found this one, so I figured I'd give her this as well. And you already, it already has a battery in it. There's a tab right there. So that's going to go in her bin. And then they also had a wide, wide angle smartphone lens. So I figured she could try this out as well. And I picked up one of each of those for myself also. And then I picked up an auto cell phone holder. You connect this to your vent. I don't know if this is going to work. We'll see. It says clips securely to car vent expands to fit screens up to three inches wide. By E-Circuit. So that's for me. And then this is similar to the selfie light Peyton has. They had the selfie ring light rechargeable using micro USB. Three light settings. You just clip it to your phone. Peyton has one of these and she uses it currently. So I figured I'd grab myself one. But hers, like I said, came from five below. I think I paid like five bucks for it. And is that it for like electronic stuff? I believe so. Uh, let's go back to crafting stuff real quick. One, two, three, I'm missing one. Hold on, you guys. There we go. I did pick up some more fabric. They always get me with the fabric there. Um, they have their summer fabrics out now, so I picked up this one with watermelon. These are all the same size, so 18 by 21. You think I would know that by heart by now, but I just thought that was cool. And then this one has different summer words on it, like natural, squeeze, cut fresh. I just like, like those, those two would go good together. And then I picked up the pineapple fabric from Miss Peyton. 
If I have time, I will try coming up with something for her with this. But I thought that was pretty. It even has like pineapples and pink right there. So that is that for that. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. Also picked up a ton of stickers. So they had the Mamoko, Mamoko, Mamoko. I think that's how you say it. The Rams. I'm missing one for now. Mamoko. Okay. They had all these stickers there, and I just picked up one of each of the ones I liked. So this one has 66 stickers and it just has like different florals and then the word namaste on it. I thought those were pretty. And then I picked up this one. This one says it has 36 stickers and these have different phrases like never look back, fortune favors the bold, make today great, follow your heart, never lose hope every day. Wait. Small steps every day. Some of the writing's in white, so you can't really see it. Good vibes only. Follow your dreams. I thought those were cool. And then they had, like, puffy stickers. So I picked up two of these big, puffy, don puffy donut stickers. I want to say I saw Amber for Am from Amber's to-do list pick these up. This was the only kind they had in the big ones. So I just picked up two of these donut stickers. It just looks like a donut with uh, blue and white icing on it. And then they had the shaker stickers, which I've never seen at my Dollar Tree before. You get nine of each in these packs. I picked up two packs of these. You get, they're donuts. Oh, that's adorable. Can you guys see the glitter in there? So two packs of those and then I just picked up one pack of the emoji ones there's also nine stickers in this and they're shakers as well one pack of the avocados for Peyton's Easter bin nine of them in there and then one pack of flamingos they're not shakers they're just puffy but you get nine of them super cute Okay, that's it for that, you guys. I did pick up just one of these little juncture tote bags. I think they're for kids, but I'm going to do a DIY with this. So I'm probably going to change this. But I just like the material of it. It's like those hats I got not too long ago. And then um, one home decor piece. I'm probably going to leave this as is. Hold on, you guys. Okay. Um... And it just says, this coffee is making me awesome. So I'm probably going to put this around my coffee bar somewhere. Because, yeah, I can't get through a day without at least one glass of coffee. Glass? No, one cup of coffee. Can I join the pee pee pants a little bit? I got to tangle the paints in the bathroom. Um, two books. Always picking up books. If I can find them and they look interesting to me, I'm going to pick them up. Um, this one is a short book, but it said bestseller. So, of course, I had to pick it up. It says, Heather, the total, total, totality, totality, total, totality, totality, by Matthew Weiner, Weiner. It's only 138 pages. Originally sales for $25 in the U.S., you guys, and $32.50 in Canada. That's crazy. Especially for only 138 um, and it's just about Mark and Karen arrange themselves around their daughter, Heather, and the world seems to follow beautiful, compassionate, and entrancing. She's the greatest blessing in their lives in of Manhattan luxury, but as Heather grows and her empathy sharpens to a point and her radiance attracts more and more dark interests, their perfect existence starts to fracture. Meanwhile, a very different life, one raised in poverty and in violence, is beginning its own Melogen orbit around Heather. Hmm. So, and for only 138 pages, why not? And then I picked up this book by Sarah Watson, who is the creator of The Bold Type. So, The Bold Type was a show on Freeform. 
I just finished watching all five seasons of it. Peyton's almost done watching it. We both liked it. It was cute. It was different. It's about 320-something-year-old girls making it in the corporate world and their BFFs. Um, so when I found this, I thought, why not give it a try? And this book was originally $17.99 in the U.S. and $22.99 in Canada. So why not? Oh, and I like the book without the dust cover, too. So it's called, it's by Sarah Watson, most likely. And it's just um, a, a romantic and heartfelt look at how friendships define and save us. I can, depending on who the friends are. And I like this one, too, without the dust cover. It's gray and silver. And it even has like a little, I don't know if you guys can see that, imposed LB on there. So I thought that was cool. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Sorry. Had to go pee pee. Anyhow, we're almost done. Um, random find. Just by special moments. Distributed by Greenbrier. It's this metal flower. It was actually in like the home decor department, but I just like this color, this like corally color. Don't know what I'm doing with it yet. So that was pretty. Another thing found in the electric electronic. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's me. The electronics department for Miss Peyton's Easter bin. It's just this, and this was the last one they had. And I could never find me the coffee one, but I found Peyton this one. It's an avocado phone ring with strap. That was super cute, and it will match her phone case. So she, I have a Galaxy because I prefer Samsung, but she has the iPhone 12, I think. I don't know. But her phone case is just clear with little gold like dots on it, so this will match. And I think she'll like that. Um, um, um. Let's see. A couple quick fun finds, and then the rest is health and beauty. Okay. Um, well, wait. This is not a fun find. This is just from the tool bench department. It's just the wall anchors and screws. I was running low, so I just picked them up from Dollar Tree. Okay. I saw Amber from Amber's to-do list um, haul these, and I thought they were super cute. They're fridge magnets. You get 112 pieces. She said they look kind of like Scrabble pieces. Oh, they do. But they're like flat pieces of magnet. Let's see? And you just tear them apart. Those are cute. They're cute. They're so cute. Um, two more things from the fun finds are the car coasters. I just watched Michelle Bright, and she hauled this one. This one is, they're both ceramic, and I already actually have car coasters. Mine are marbleized. They look like some coasters I have in my house. The set from Amazon came with the car coasters, but um, I picked up this one. It's a pineapple for Miss Peyton. Super cute. And then this one I liked and it's just a peace sign like this and it says good vibes because I'm always encouraging everyone to have good vibes even though I know it's hard y'all I do know it's hard sorry I have to bend um but like I said life is hard enough we don't need any negativity up in here this thing was from made in Germany Titania I'm assuming it's a foot scrubber because none of it is in English Oh, wait. Yes, it is. Oh, so slow. Double-sided foot callus file. I couldn't find these online, though, to find the exact amount. So you get, on one side, this pumice stone. And on this side, it's the, like, file. Like, the paper. But that looks pretty sturdy. And for $1.25, thought, why not? You can't beat that. I did get me, um... My first line sleek, a volume comb, creates volume for all hairstyles. It says, I lift your hair to new heights. Things, you know, I got the haircut. I can get it to, if I felt like it. Like, I've curled this already before and everything. Um, but I just picked that up. And I'm pretty sure this is a name brand. I 
also grabbed me a shower cap because being my hair is so short now, I can't, I can only pull up like this, like that much, and then the rest is, you know, so it gets wet in the shower, and I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it, like, at best twice a week. Um, so just picked up a shower cap to have. And then I also picked me up some of these, um, Goody hair clips. You get six of them, so they're calling it the economy pack. Medium sized claw clips, black and brown. And then I found these bobby pins, and I thought they were cute. And if I want to actually pin my hair to the side, because sometimes it does fall down. Um, one says sweet, and one says spicy. So the silver one says sweet, and then the pink one says spicy. That's it for hair stuff, y'all. Okay, thought this was different. I don't know. This is by EO Products, Small World Trading. Everyone for everybody. Lift Uplift Roll-On Aromatherapy. So I'm going to put one in Peyton's bin and then keep one. Essential Oil Blend Roll-On. A happy blend of organic jojoba oil. A pure grapefruit, orange, cedarwood, lang lang frankincense and lavender essential oils it says roll on to pulse points anytime you need a little pick me up reapply as needed they're both the same let's see what this looks like so here's what it looks like i smell nothing really hold on i know this isn't a pulse point i'm just trying to get it going you guys there we go. Let's start in the middle. It doesn't smell bad. I'm always getting a headache dealing with crazy around my life. So I'll let you know how this works, you guys. And you get 0.33 fluid ounces in this. And then, and then, I sound like my girl, Maury. Um, they had some crab tree and Evelyn of London body gel. This is a body gel, so this is a shower gel, right? Hydrating body gel in the rose water and pink peppercorn. I'm not big into rose scented stuff. You get uh, 1.7 fluid ounces. But let's see what this smells like. I know this brand is super expensive. That's not horrible. That's not horrible. It kind it is florally. What am I putting this garbage? I have no room. I'll put it right there. Okay. But it's not bad. And it looks like lotion more than it does a body gel. And of course, there's like... just shows you ingredients it doesn't say like lather your loofah blah 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 you know what i mean so we'll figure that out <coughs> excuse me last but not least i did grab a bunch of the la colors new stuff um like the new scents and shapes so this one is the coconut jelly balm coconut scented lip balm that moisturizes lips, apply to lips in a side to side motion and reapply as needed. So just grab that in the coconut scent or flavor. I also picked up this one. This is called Glace, 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 I don't know. Jelly lip gloss, sheer lip gloss with a slanted tip applicator. Um, Sheer tint, it's a tint, tinted lip gloss that moisturizes lips and adds shine. And there's the name right there. I picked up, and this is so old school, but I love stuff like this. The Roll On Glass. And this is watermelon scented and super shiny. I only grabbed one version of each because what am I going to do with all this extra stuff? Timber. Um, then they also had 
They look like little ice cream cones. Um, this is a lip balm. It's in the cotton candy flavor. So there's that. Super cute. And then they also had the cotton candy flavor in this, um, it looks like a lollipop. Cotton candy scented lip gloss that moisturizes lips and adds shine. So I thought those were super duper cute. Okay, you guys, that's it. This was a pretty long haul. I was going to split it up into two, but I said, nah. Why just, just get it over with, girl? Um, like I said in the beginning, I hope you guys um, enjoy my content. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. Make sure to give my video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And also make sure to drop a comment and let me know which one of my finds in this haul was your favorite find. I will talk to you guys soon. I love you all so much for spending some of your time with me and my craziness. We will talk soon. Mwah.